This is the re-upload of a lesson I made ages ago. However, there was a mistake in it, so I've corrected the mistake and have re-uploaded it. If you're a long-term subscriber, you've probably already done this lesson. However, I'm re-uploading it anyway, as it's part of the fingerstyle course, and I want that course to be as accurate as possible. Enjoy. How to play fingerstyle or finger picking guitar. Lesson 14. In this lesson, we'll be looking at pinching. And we'll do some exercises first, and then we'll learn the Christmas carol, Silent Night. Obviously, being lesson 14, this is part of a full course on finger picking guitar. And if you've not done any of the other lessons, it would be worth you going to the full course. And with that in mind, I've put a link down in the description to the full playlist for this course. Also, you'll find the course at www.ebooksforguitar.com. And as well as finding this complete course there in order, you'll also find the tablature that you can view online for free. Right, let's take a look at the pinching technique. Pinching is predominantly done between two strings. And usually you'll pinch between the primary finger and the index finger, or the primary finger and the middle finger, or the primary finger and the annular finger. And you can pinch any combination of those fingers as long as the primary is involved. There is a technique where you can pluck two strings using the index, middle or annular finger and any combination of them. However, it can't be considered a pinch unless it involves the primary or the thumb. Exercise 1 Right, in this exercise we'll just try pinching between the primary and the index finger, the primary and the middle finger and the primary and the annular finger and just go round between two very simple chords that's C major and A minor and once you feel you've got the idea you can move on to the next exercise here's what you want it to sound like To get started, let's try it nice and slow at 70 beats per minute with a two bar introduction so you can try and play along with it. Let's hear that again at the same speed with a two bar introduction. If you manage to play the exercise OK at 70 beats per minute, let's try it again now at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And just for the more advanced players, here it is at 100 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. But this time we'll repeat the line four times.
If you're happy with that and you feel you're ready to move on, let's move on to the next exercise. Exercise 2. This exercise only has one pinch in each bar and then it does a finger picking pattern like you've done in previous exercises. However, this technique is used quite a lot where you've just got one or two pinches in a bar, especially in contemporary music. And because we're only interested in improving our picking technique, we'll use the same chords again, which were C major and A minor. So, here it is at 70 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Here that's exercises again at 70 beats per minute with the two bar introduction so you can try playing along with it if you can. However don't worry if you can't play along with it yet because this exercise is a little more difficult and may take a little practice before you can put it with a metronome. If you manage to play that okay, let's try it again at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And finally, we'll play the same exercise at 90 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. But this time, we'll repeat the line four times. Again, don't worry if this is too fast for you. This is just for the more advanced players. And here that is again. Right, let's take a look at the last exercise. Exercise 3. This exercise is more typical of what you might come across in classical music, where we've got one pinch and a couple of single notes. Now in this exercise, the single notes are within the chord. However, in classical music, it's not uncommon to play a pinch and then single notes from a scale so you're building the tune. Here's the exercise being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. You might have noticed that this tune is being played in 3-4 time, which means there's three beats in the bar. So when we say there's a two bar introduction, it's actually only six notes. 
and you'll notice it's only made up of three chords which are very simple chords and they are A minor, G and E minor. However, because it is finger picked and you only play selective notes, you don't need to play the entire chord if you don't want to. So, for example, with the G, you only need to play the third fret on the bottom E string. And with the E minor, you don't need to finger any notes. Here it is again at 80 beats per minute. If you want, try and play along with me. And here it is again at the same speed. Right, this exercise shouldn't be much quicker than 80 beats per minute. So we'll try it at 90 beats per minute anyway. So here it is at 90 beats per minute with the usual two bar introduction. And here it is again at 90 beats per minute. Hopefully these exercises will have given you some sort of feel for the pinching technique. So now we can move on to the tune. The Christmas Carol, Silent Night. This is the first of several Christmas carols I want to get in over the next couple of weeks. And I'll play it now at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction, just to give you an idea how it should sound. We'll go through this tune as usual with a metronome. However, when you've got the tune, you're better practicing it in a free time kind of style. And that means you can speed the tune up and slow it down according to your own preferences. As I'll be using a metronome to teach you this song, I need to point out that it's in three, four time. And that means there's three crotchets in a bar. So there's three beats per bar. Knowing this then, let's hear the first line being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Remembering that in 3-4 time, two bars will be six beats. Hopefully, 
you will have noticed that the first line is just the first two bars repeated. So to start with, we just need to learn the first two bars. To play the first two bars, I'd put the first finger in place on the G string first of all. And this may sound like you're getting ahead of yourself or a bit counterintuitive, but it makes perfect sense and it helps the flow of the tune. And if you're not sure what I mean, just watch when I play it. So here it is at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Let's try that again, but this time try to play along with me. And put that first finger into place just to see how it helps the flow. So here's the first line again at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. If you're happy with the way you played the first line, here it is again at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction but this time we'll play it twice to start helping you remember it. OK, let's take a look at bar 5 and 6. And here they are being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. These two bars are far harder than the entire first line. And that's because they're based around a second position or A string rooted B major chord. And here's how that looks. Now, if you're already familiar with the second position B major chord, this isn't going to be a problem to you. However, if you're not yet familiar with the B major chord, or you haven't started studying bar chords yet, don't worry, we can find another way of playing this chord. Because just like the earlier chords, we only play a couple of notes out of the chord so we don't need to play the whole thing. Here's two ways of playing bars 5 and 6. And the first method is basically just playing the A string rooted bar chord. However, because we're only playing a couple of strings, you don't need to finger the entire chord. We've only got the first finger barring the second fret and the fourth finger playing the fourth fret on the B string. If you can play this method, it's probably best. However, don't worry if you can't. Here's method two, where we play the second fret on the A string with the first finger, and the second fret on the top E string with the second finger. And you can play those two notes first before going on to the next bar, where we play the first finger on the second fret of the A string again, and this time we have the fourth finger on the fourth fret of the B string. And even the fourth finger is interchangeable with the third finger if you prefer to play it that way. If you're not sure what way you want to play these two bars, it'll be a good idea to pause the video at this point and practice them a couple of times until you decide which way you prefer. So you can see what these bars look like being played both methods. I'll play them through now. I'll play the bar method first twice and then I'll play the single fingered method through twice with the usual two bar introduction. Method one.
Method 1 again. Now method two. Method two again. The next two bars shouldn't need any explanation because it's all open strings so you just need to play it as it is in the tab. However here it is so you can hear it anyway and I'll play it at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Right, let's bring the first two lines together and here they are being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And here that is again at the same speed and with a two bar introduction. Try and play along with it if you can. Let's take a look at line 3, which is identical to line 4, so in effect we're learning line 3 and line 4. Here it is at 80 beats per minute with a 2 bar introduction. And you might notice that the second half of this line is identical to the first line. So we only need to learn the first two bars of this line, which is bar 9 and 10. And these two bars are very simple. For the A you just need to have your first finger on the second fret of the B string. And then in the next bar you add the third finger to the fourth fret and then release it. So here's the whole line again at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Try and play along with it if you can. By playing this line twice you're actually playing lines 3 and 4. So let's try playing lines 3 and 4 at 80 beats per minute with a 2 bar introduction. Let's now bring that together with line 1 and 2 and we'll try playing the first four lines of the song.
Right, let's try that again at the same speed with the two bar introduction. Right, let's move on to the next line. And unfortunately, this line contains the hardest to play bar in the entire song. And it's not bar 17, because we've already learnt to play this bar because it's the same as bar 5. However, bar 18 has a tricky reach from the 2nd fret on the A string to the 5th fret on the top E string. Here's bar 17 and 18 being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. However, I'll play it twice, the first time with the bar method and the second time with a single finger method. Here that is again. And now here's the non-bar method. And here that is again. Thankfully, the rest of this line is really easy. So let's hear the entire line being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Right, I'll play that again now, but this time I'll finger it differently as there's been two ways of learning the B shape so that more people can relate to the lesson. And here that is again at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Right, let's move along to the last line and then you'll know the entire tune. And the first bar of the last line, you just have the first finger on the first fret of the G string. So that's very easy. And in the next bar, we've got a partial B7. Here's how to finger that. And if you need the tab and these chord diagrams, you can find them at www ebooksforguitar.com and if you look for the finger picking course and the ebook for this particular course is free you can download it there and in the third bar we just have a partial E major again but this time we're playing the second fret on the D string and you'll notice this ties across to the last bar which means you only play it once and you just let it ring Let's hear that line played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction.
Let's hear that again at the same speed with a two bar introduction. Try and play along with it if you can. You might have noticed that the last bar is harder in a different way. The changes are quite awkward, so whilst each bar in its own right is easy enough, changing between them is a little more difficult, and it's just a case of practice to make it flow smoothly. Right, let's try playing the entire tune from start to finish at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. Right, let's try that again one last time at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. However, you might remember what I said at the beginning in that when you've got this song, you want to practice it without a metronome. Then you can speed it up and slow it down and interpret it with a little more feeling. To finish off and to give you a target, here's the tune being played through without a metronome and a little bit quicker. I'm playing it this time on a nylon strung guitar. Right, I'll sign out now because, as usual, I'll put some metronome counts at the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and if it's new to you, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, and then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And you can find the tablature to this lesson and all the other lessons at www.ebooksforguitar.com and you'll find this particular lesson under the finger picking course. Thank you very much for watching.